Ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. First of all, I want to say good morning to you. And thank you for wanting to be a part of Jury Duty and this amazing service that you have charge of. First of all, you not only assure and protect the rights of all people within this great country. And second, you're sure that the work of justice has been third or is going to be third now in the future. We have chosen you because you, we believe, that will be able to take on this complex case that we have before you throughout the next few days. So, I bring to you the case itself of what we're going to be sharing with you. You will be hearing from testimony. Not only from myself, but you will be here from testimony from Dr. Irene and also the sheriff as well. Now, I advise you to listen to the facts of this case. I also advise you to listen to the judge's instruction when he gives them to you at the end of this case. This is very important. It protects the right to put those that are get hurt to be able to protect themselves and give them the right for self-defense. That's something that we all need in this country. And now I, I present to you the case. Picture this. Valentine's Week begins with the Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you cheer for the Eagles or you cheer for the Chiefs, Make no mistake about it. Some gotta be some gonna be happy, others is not gonna be happy. But if you cheer for the right team, you definitely would be happy. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. But the case does not start until Monday night, ladies and gentlemen. For we're gonna call this exhibit A rejections. Rejections. Now, I know a lot of you, not only here in this jury, but those that are in this court, courtroom sitting here in this courtroom, and also those that might be watching or listening to this proceeding, have dealt with rejection in the past. Maybe one, maybe more. Yours truly has dealt with a lot of rejections in this lifetime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So... Picture this. Madam President, a big D country, who is now and has just been installed at the Senate President of Big D country. Why? That was always going to be for reserve for Dr. Reen in case she found somebody. I almost had to find her another office so fast, but that's going to come later, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Because as you can see, the day before Valentine's Day, because it was probably Valentine's Day in Australia. Okay. And no, the earth is not flat. Because if it was flat, how come there are different time zones and how come there are different seasons on other parts of the world? No, the world is not flat, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Okay. So, you try la 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 along. Working in games, 
you know, after you gave two people that you like a Valentine's Day gift. And what turned out happened? You was going to give the Valentine's Day a benefit of a doubt because you've been a widower for so many years. You don't even know what a hug was. You don't even know what a passionate kiss is. I mean, you don't even know what it's like to be intimate with somebody. It's been that long. And then you get the worst possible news, almost like a Dear John letter. It's my version of the Dear John letter. And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I bring you Exhibit A. I bring you a quote of what the Dear John letter says. It says, and I quote, I don't like being called sweetheart. But I've been single for 20 years, and we can always remain friends. Which that I accept, but that killed me to the heart because I thought that I was going to have at least two sweethearts. Especially in case if I have to leave the country because I am so poor that I am unfit to be an American. Unfit because of our poverty. Unfit. Because I am always broke at the end of the week. Because of inflation and the high cost to live. I thought I would have to move to another country and Australia would have been a part to run away to. But nope. I don't have that option. And it would bring you to, well, it's sort of almost not like a rejection, but it's half and half. But because she still says she's single. But she did appreciate a lot to what, what I did for Valentine's Day. Not only to give her a, a, a virtual card, but also sang a romantic song for the GSP family. She did appreciate that. And I'll get to that, I'll get to that a little bit later. Because there's a lot, lot of fabrics to this bad week. A lot of fabrics. Okay. But then, I can't get into it now because... It's a part of exhibit B as far as rejection. Because that man right there just annoyed. Now, even though I forgive him, I had to accept this apology. But the reason why I banned him was because of self defense, because not only that he gave me a heart attack the day before I came into work at the voice of GSP, ladies and gentlemen. I just came into work and what did I? And at the song, you say he's just a friend. Oh, snap! Guess what he saw? Just the noise, changed his name on the server like we all had the power to do from time to time. Even I've done this from time to time. But he changed his name to Ivory Boyfriend 350. And ladies and gentlemen, I nearly had a heart attack. Not only a heart attack, but also a stroke. Not only a stroke, but I was literally, literally crying. When I confronted Justin Noy, he got so angry. He got so angry. Not only did he put in the Sean's Enemy 666, which was so degrading that I was hurt that I had banned him from the server. I had banned him. Yes, I did. I take full responsibility. But because I was hurt, I was hurt. Because if I would have lost two sweethearts in the same week when I'm already down, like the, the, the same goes, kick a man when he's down in the same span of a week, it's like you got nothing. You got absolutely nothing. And this triggers me missing my late wife. And I had to tell Justin Noyes, stop it. Stop it. Number one, you're in Canada. Number two, you would have had to fly so many times back and forth between Canada and Boston back and forth just to see Dr. Irene. Okay. But then to make these worse, then to make these worse, ladies and gentlemen, he cursed at me. With a cursed emoji, and he did a middle finger emoji at me. And that wasn't bad enough, ladies and gentlemen. Now he did, ladies and uh, he did apologize, ladies and gentlemen. 
of the jury. But that doesn't that doesn't uh, that doesn't compare to the fact that you cannot defend yourself. Okay, at least by temporary ban. We had bans before on GSP, but they came back. They they were able to come back after things clear. We've done bad people before, and they come back. But then, just to have it bad enough so that they, I was fired, temporarily fired from senior admin, and I can't not, uh, 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 I cannot defend myself over being in pain. And then another thing, another thing. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, another thing. Madam President just displayed to me. On the same day of all this turmoil, after the fact, with the with this uh, that he just destroyed me before I accepted this apology, she said it was my fault. Uh, if I wasn't able to read, I would have let it go. But since I was able to read, I had a heart attack. Yes, I had a heart attack. I was hurt. Just been just been. I just been rejected day before Valentine's Day. Then turn around if I would have found out if I thought I really had a boyfriend, which she said said that she don't in real life. But if she did, I don't know if I would have been able to survive, ladies and gentlemen. You probably wouldn't even see me in this courtroom, pleading this case, doing this opening argument. You probably wouldn't even see this, ladies and gentlemen. But not only Check this out. Say, like, if Chief Justice, a big D country, who pretty age husband, would do the same thing like Justin Noyd did, only he want to hurt Justin, uh, Justin V, a.k.a. Chief Justice. He want to hurt him, and he's trying to fight his hurt, but then he gets in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't even defend ourselves. We can't even defend ourselves. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of months ago, when I ordered pizza from Pizza Hut, it was from Grubhub. I got my pizza stolen, and then I was explained to them that I was going to call the car. They gave me everything that I need to call the car. I called the car, and then next thing I know, next thing I know, when I went to get mail, I got in trouble. And, th- and, th- and I was explained. It was explained to me that calling the cops was a nuisance call because it was for a $35 pizza. I lost money on that. I lost money on that. And then I can't call for thief of a pizza. Well, I get the driver, the driver enjoyed that meal on my expense. But ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what does somebody want to come in your home? What if what something was to steal your wife or your husband? And then they get jealous because you have them and they want to hurt you and you get in trouble. And then I had to defend your case. I had to plead. I had to plead your opening and closing arguments, ladies and gentlemen. What if it was you? What if it is your family that somebody be jealous of? Her? And you get in trouble because you get hurt. So you get wounded. And you cannot, you cannot, you might lose your job, you might go to the hospital, and worst of all, you might even lose your life. I mean, that is not the America that I want to be in, ladies and gentlemen, the joy. Now, next up, I bring you, things are going around after the week has already been kicked us in the tail, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Yes. First of all, the beautiful Dr. Irene had an issue with a product that she was going to send back for either a refund or a return or something. And the item cost $1,000, ladies and gentlemen. $1,000. Now, that is a lot of money. I, 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 the only time I've seen $1,000 is when I went a hand-paid jackpot on a slot machine in Vegas, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. So to lose a thousand dollars all because of UPS mistakes, and she was only to get one hundred and four dollars. No, 
I kid you not. I shit you not. She only got a hundred and four dollars off a thousand dollar product. A grand, just like when I went to get the the microwave for when I before I went to Podfest, trying to get some money, probably trying to get like a hundred dollars or maybe even two hundred dollars. When I only got thirty dollars, just like when I went to get silver cast in, I only got. $24 and not enough food, but yet I got the toilet paper. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what is going on when products can't be delivered the right way and the correct way so, she, so people could get the valuable money that they need in order to survive this crazy world of inflation? Dr. Irene, Dr. Irene didn't deserve that. She did not deserve that. UPS should be held responsible for the damage that they caused to cause her to only get $100, like $102. Yeah, UPS has to be held responsible for that. Okay. Now, I'm fighting for her right, just like just as if I'm fighting for my right to love and my right to, to defend myself when I get hurt, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I became a lawyer. That's why I became a person who defends the law. Okay, I'm playing one on the radio, but who knows? But uh, podcast, I should say, but who knows? But then, that's not all. Or in, at the commercials would say, but wait, there's more. Enter the sheriff who is here in court today, and I thank him for his courage in coming. When you just heard him on the podcast the other day, you just heard him on the podcast the other day, who did an excellent job once again, first doing the Royal Rumble and now doing the Elimination Chamber prediction. He has shared that him and his beautiful bride, him and the chief of police, two buddies of mine, two other buddies of mine, from the great game show production community where I met them at. He's getting clobbered this week, too. They tried to turn on the regular solar power lights on, and then they're just now dealing with regular power. They want to save money on their electric bills. When they're trying to save money on electric bill, they got torched this week. And it's causing him a lot of stress. That electric company, that solar electric company, should also take responsibility. Now, I'm glad Justin North did take responsibility, and I, apologize, and I accepted an apology. I'm still hurt, but I did accept it as an apology. Don't get me wrong about that. But ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you don't kick a man when he's down. And on top of that, on top of all that, I've been temporarily fired from the senior admin job. Now, I'm both be getting that position back, but I have been temporarily fired from my admin job, uh, senior admin job. Now, that happened before. Well, over another craziness that happened. Now, we only accept drama meals, the close call, the close calls, the good games, the excitement of the game. Now that's drama meal. But we don't accept the bad drama, the what's been happening the past week. You know, the two yahoos that try to cash in uh, 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 on, on try to take over GSP. What happened to another case that will rename nameless because we buried the hatchet, so to speak. But make no mistake about it. When you have an entire week of hell. This is definitely have become the week of hell. And I'll tell you one thing. The judge is having a, a bad week. Yes, she judged it as well. But the only good news about the whole thing is, A, he was able to get his uh, his gift to his uh, pretty aid. He was able to give his gift to her. But it took two days past Valentine's Day to do that. Two days. Two. Then on today, on the day of the record, he was not able to go bowling because one of his friends is sick. Now he may put, uh, he may correct me because it might be a law shot, but but his friends are sick, 
And then the team is going to be so short that they had to forfeit. Nobody on the team is going to be there. It's a three-man team. A three-man team. And the other good news is him and another person, the one who has the diet over loud noises, have worked out a plan on getting along, thank goodness. But that place that it goes to is still an idiot dump. It's still an idiot dump. And CP, CPS is to blame because they threaten families of taking away their children and enforcing enforcement or going to a place where the kid is not happy to be at a certain particular school. Yet they come home crying each and every day. But no, CPS had the parents' hand tied. Whether it was the mother or the father, no, CPS had the power to bring that person to school and then make him, make him or her suffer, which is wrong. Which is wrong. Hey, CPS idiots. Learning is supposed to be fun, not stressful. You need to go to that place and find out why that place is not even a real school. Why don't you go to that place and find out what kids are going through? Why don't you go to that place and find out why the chief justice is crying every day, coming on crying? He has his own PTSD for that reason. He was accused for two months, starting on the 29th and ending on the 29th, of stalking his pretty aide, which has now been, been finished and finalized. He got his name back, but it took awfully a long time to do it, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Now, please, as I come to the close, you have a responsibility. You have a duty. And this whole week, this whole week must be found guilty of ch- as charged of causing World War I in Big D country. Causing meth, mayhem, and destruction to Big D country. You have the power to make this right, Jury. You have the power to protect Big D country. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect. I'm not saying that it's going to be more, uh, uh, no more attack after this verdict. But at least you can make this one work. Because now, a lot of us is going to have trust issues this week. And I already have planned by next year, if I'm not in a new state by then, whether it's Houston, Dallas, Florida, wherever, the, wherever else how I might go to in 2023 or 2024, if I'm not there, if I'm in the temp- if I'm here temporarily after the 12 month lease is done, then I'm going on a trip. I am not going to be in Missouri where there's too many painful memories. Especially too many, and I'm not going to be in this apartment where there's too many painful me- memories of why I'm presenting this case to you. And again, I want to thank you for coming and taking responsibilities of being a juror. You're doing a great service. And again, I ask you, I implore you to charge this week guilty as charged. And also to find CPS guilty as charged. And also to find Albany school districts guilty as charged. Because my clients do not deserve to be stressed out. Yours truly does not deserve to be stressed out. But I promised when I first decided to practice law, I said that I'm going to be fighting for my friends and fighting for the people that I love and also to fight for myself. But when you can't do that and, you're, and your hands are tied and you're not allowed to do that, that's not right. That's not right. Thank you for listening. And again, good morning. And remember why you're here today.